today to talk about uh, high altitude disease and uh, the possibility of developing uh, genetic markers to, to help uh, breeders uh, in their selection, uh, uh, selection goals for breeding cattle that will survive at uh, high altitude. Uh, high altitude disease is, uh, is kind of a unique uh, phenotype or a unique trait amongst cattle breeders. Uh, of course, it only affects uh, uh, breeders that are, that are above 5,000 feet. Uh, but of course, there's cattle uh, all over the all over the country, and of course, all over the world that that are at much lower altitudes. And of course, the problem is when you bring them up to these higher altitudes, uh, uh, they don't uh, they don't thrive like they should. And uh, it turns out that it's a heritable trait. Uh, it's a very hard to approach trait, uh, meaning that uh, when breeders want to go out and, and select cattle that have been raised to lower altitudes, it's almost impossible for them to find. Uh, uh, find those genetics uh, without bringing them up to an altitude and, and running an organized test on them like uh, measuring a, a pulmonary arterial pressure or pap score uh, etc and and so uh, it's our thought that uh, because it's a genetic trait uh, we can certainly develop a DNA based marker to where you could actually make uh, some fairly accurate predictions about uh, how an animal might perform when you bring him up to high altitude and uh, so uh, here in New Mexico State uh, and uh, uh, at the reserve. Uh, uh, they're collecting uh, PAP scores and high altitude phenotypes for us and we're taking those DNA samples and we're uh, doing a genetic analysis with some some uh, new genomic based tools, uh, things we call SNP chips and we're trying to, trying to identify the genes that control uh, susceptibility to high altitudes. <laughs>